step in But love And stand by for the ride of your life But don't sit down Cause there ain't no seats There ain't no seats Can you stand it? Please stand The captain's down Ride the new Skyrider, Canada's first stand-up coaster at Canada's Wonderland. Yeah, we got it. There's always something new at Canada's Wonderland. Skyrider at Canada's Wonderland opened in May of 1985 as Canada's first and only stand-up roller coaster and still holds that to this day. My name is Caden and this is some of the history of Skyrider at Canada's Wonderland. <laughs> Skyrider operated at Canada's Wonderland from May 4th, 1985 to September 1st, 2014. Opening as Canada's first and only stand-up roller coaster, Skyrider was definitely a major breakthrough for Wonderland when it opened. Being the second model of its kind, with King Cobra at King's Island being the first, Skyrider may not have been the tallest or fastest ride at Wonderland, with a height of 88 feet or 26 meters, and reaching up to speeds of 51 miles per hour or 82 kilometers per hour, this coaster was still a standout attraction to park guests. Featuring a vertical loop with the standing element, I can imagine this being a pretty intense part of the ride. Although Skyrider did unfortunately have a lot of rough spots, as this was a newer model for Japanese manufacturer Togo, Skyrider was still a beloved ride by hundreds of guests that got to ride this classic unique roller coaster. With a total of 22,934,054 riders on September 1st, 2014, Skyrider sent its last riders for one last stroll before being retired. Canada's Wonderland sold Skyrider to a park in Italy, which is now renamed as Freestyle. This ride is still operating to this day and continues to give the same thrills to riders as it has been since 1985. After Skyrider's retirement, the plot of land it stood on was left alone up until 2018 when Canada's Wonderland announced a new roller coaster that will take up part of this land. Yukon Striker, the world's longest, tallest, and fastest dive coaster, would go on to take up part of Skyrider's plot. Yukon Striker features a vertical loop, which I personally believe is a callback to the vertical loop Skyrider featured. Another small part of Skyrider's original plot currently has ongoing construction after Wonderland's 2023 announcement of Tundra Twister, a one-of-a-kind flat ride described as this on Wonderland's website. Soar high above Frontier Canada on Tundra Twister, a giant looping ride with rotating gondola arms that will have guests spinning, twisting, and twirling 360 degrees upside down at heights of 47 meters and speeds of 75 kilometers per hour. Skyrider may have been replaced by two major rides that are a hundred times better, but Skyrider will forever be a part of Wonderland's history. But that's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching, and let me know what you guys thought of the video as this is my first attempt at something like this. And let me know what you guys think of Skyrider and if you got to ride it before it closed. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.